Hey everybody, welcome back to the XFA Fitness Channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you'll know every single time we have a brand new workout for you. My name is Jeff Hirsch, I'm your trainer for the day. Today we have a full body, complete body workout. So what we're gonna be doing today is using some dumbbells. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on chest, we have back, we have shoulders, we have biceps, we have triceps. Then we're gonna mix in some plyometric moves along with some weighted leg moves and then do a big core bonus at the end. It's gonna be a full total body workout that you're gonna get done in just under 40 minutes. That includes the warm up and the cool down. So you're gonna work hard, we're gonna work fast, and we're gonna get done today in a good amount of time, all right? So I'll leave you plenty of time for the rest of the day to do whatever it is that you have to do. Um, when you're ready for it and you wanna support us, please go to ripdism.com, check us out there. We have lots of different workout programs some that incorporate weights, some that incorporate uh, no equipment whatsoever, so you can work out anywhere in the world. We have an app, you can download the videos, keep you in the best shape of your life all the time. So check that out when you're ready for us, okay? Uh, but today, let's talk about what we're gonna do. We've got uh, eight moves. The first move is two minutes, the last move is two minutes, and each one of those eight move rounds, everything in the middle is gonna be one minute long. Um, There's gonna be about a 30 second rest in between each move, so it'll give you a little time to recover so I can demo the next move for you. These moves are gonna get your heart rate up, so you are gonna need that recovery time. Uh, let me go over what we have today. Uh, I've got a set of 25 pound dumbbells. That's all you're really gonna need. You're gonna need um, two dumbbells for one sequence and one dumbbell for some of the other moves. Uh, I am today using these. These are what are known as push-up stands or push-up bars, okay? Um, you can get lots of different kinds. I was sent these by a company called Pace Earth. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check them out. They sent these to me to try out and uh, I happen to like them a lot. They're um, very nice. They have a good uh, wide flat bottom so they don't roll over. Nice wide grip and cushion grip on the, uh, on the handle so they're comfortable to use. Good thing about push-up bars, I do use them quite a bit when I do push-ups, is it helps to prevent wrist injuries. You know, if you have a little bit of wrist or tweakiness in your wrist and you're trying to bend it back all the time, this helps out by keeping it straight. And also if you have any shoulder problems or anything like that, it gives you a little more stability. Plus it gives you a bigger range of motion. You can go down a few more inches and get that extra range of motion on the push-up. So we'll incorporate these in the workout. I'm not getting paid for anything uh, like, you know, on this, it's just the product that I happen to like, so I figured maybe you wanna check them out too. All right, enough said about that. And I uh, hope you guys are ready to start this workout because I certainly am. I'm gonna hit my timer and we'll get going right away. All right, so we've got a three minute warm up here, so let's get rolling. Let's jog in place, jog in place, here we go. Nice. I'm gonna be moving quickly today, like I said. I just want you to get your, get your knees up now. I just want you to follow along the best you can. I'll demo the moves, like I said, in between. I'm gonna have a high heart rate today. So we're gonna do our best to recover fast and move right on to the next move, okay? Do some jumping jacks. Warm up, old school, traditional style. Just get that heart rate elevated a little bit because it's certainly gonna be jumping up and down today. So we wanna make sure that our hearts are used to pumping heavy right now. Good. Keep going. Very nice. Three, two, one. Bring your feet together. Drop down, touch the side. Come on up. Drop down, touch the side. Get used to squatting, touching the ground. We're going to be doing that throughout the workout today. Doing these plyometric moves. We're going to try to get a full range of motion as much as we can. Get the most benefit out of every single move. All right? Nice. All right, let's go down into plank. Let's go into upward dog. Drop your knees down into cobra, stretch out the core. We're gonna be hitting the core hard. At the end, we got three one minute bonus moves at the end on the core. That's gonna round out the workout for us, all right? Look at that core warmed up, all right? Push back, back into plank, into downward dog, pedal out the calves. Very nice. Bring your right foot forward up to your hand. Reach up to the sky. That's it, right hand up, left hand's on the floor. Come back, foot back, left foot goes up, right palm on the floor, left hand reaches sky high, that's it. Stretching it all out. Come back down, bring your right foot up, push out on the knees. That's it, quick sumo stretch. Pop back into plank again, now jump it up, roll all the way up nice and slow. Circle those arms forward, get the shoulders loosened up. We're gonna be using those a lot today in the push up moves and also in the shoulder presses that we're gonna be doing, all right? So we're nearing 
the completion of the warm up here. I'm going to demo the first move for you, all right? So, little huggers, little huggers, little huggers. First thing we're going to do, again, you don't need push up stands. I'm just going to use them today because they're here and I like them. Right here, I'm going to be doing push ups straight, straight this way. Okay, so narrow push ups, you can go wide, whatever you need to do. We're going to be doing four push ups, then grab your weights. After we do four push ups, we're going to do four rows, then we're going to do four curls, four shoulder presses four tricep extensions, just like that. So set, set the weights to the side a little bit of the push-up bars, or do your push-ups right in the middle. We're gonna get going here. Down in position, three, two, one. So, one, two, three, four. Pop it up, grab your weights, row. One, two, three, four. Now, curl, elbows in the side, tight. Two, three, four, press it up, one, Two, my wrists are facing in. Three, four, keep it here, tricep extension. Four like this. Two, three, four. Back to where we started. Into the push-ups, pop it back, and let's go. One, two, three, four. You know the sequence now, okay? Four of each. I want you to focus on every single move. On these bicep curls, really focus on keeping the elbows into the side, okay? Now, presses, just like that. And when we're done at the top, put them together, tricep extensions. Here we go. Two, three, four. A little more than halfway done with the move. Let's keep going. Back into push-ups. One, two, three, four. Pop it up, roll it out. One, two, start upper body getting worked yet or what? Huh? What a way to start out. Two minute upper body sequence. Hitting everything in the waist up. Three, four triceps. One, two, three, four. Bring it down. We've got a time for a couple more push-ups here. Maybe some rows, let's go. One, two, three, four. Jump it up. Row. Two, three, four. Stand it up. One, two, three. Time. Okay, we'll put our weights to the side here. Get rid of the push up bars. We'll be using the weights again. Push up bars we won't need until the next time we hit that sequence again. Next thing we're doing plyometrics, side jump, single arm plank. All right, so you're gonna start, you're gonna jump left. Plant your left arm down, jump back into plank, pop back up, go to the right side, right arm goes down. Just like that, one minute. Here we go, come on, three, two, one. So jump left, left hand down, single arm plank, pop on up, same thing on the right side. So if you have trouble with a one arm shoot back like this in the plank, then guess what, do this, two arm. Pretty simple, okay? No need to go crazy. If you can't do it, but then I want you to work on it over time, all right? The next time you come back and do this workout, try to do one or two like this, okay? Keep going, halfway through the move. So we're just jumping to the side, planting our hand, popping back into plank. No need to go crazy on the speed. I want you to focus on the form, focus on range of motion, getting down, staying safe, working hard at the same time. Come on. 10 seconds left, you got it, come on. Three, two, time. Whew. 30 second break, we need it. I'm already hands to knees on the second move in, all right? Next thing we're doing is a power jump. Down, touch the floor, power jump. Then I want you on your left foot, warrior three, Balance, then we're gonna go to the right foot after the second jump, okay? So just alternate the feet on the Warrior Three. Let's get going here. Three, two, one. Touch the floor, power jump it up, Move left foot out, try to make your body into a table, back down, touch the floor. Repeat, other leg. So now we're combining plyometrics with balance, Stability and flexibility. All right? 
Whew. So that power jump, that's gonna get your heart rate up. And then you'll see your legs shaking, trying to control that balance the entire time. All right, go in and out of that balance move. Slow, steady, controlled. I want you to feel the stretch and the hamstring when you reach the peak of the movement. And I want you to feel the power and push through the quads the entire time you're jumping. Come on, almost done. Three, two, one, time, right there. Way to go. 30 second break, okay? How are we feeling? I know it's starting to burn. Heart rate's high. I'm already 154. Plank, boom, jump it up, X jump. Jump back into plank. We got this for one minute, all right? Give me everything you got here, let's go. Fire it up, give me the energy. Three, two, one, jump it back into plank, pop it up, X jump, okay? So we're following this sequence for one entire minute. I want you to think about flexing those quads and those glutes when you pop back into plank. That way you're gonna make sure that you have a nice flat back and you're not dipping down. All right, that's it. Keep going. If you wanna stop, try not to. Try to keep going even if you have to slow down your pace, okay? Right now I feel like I'm gonna stop, but I'm not going to, because I gotta motivate, I gotta push through, and give you guys the energy. Come on. Keep going. 10 more seconds. It's a tough move, I know that. It's meant to be with control, come on. Three, two, one. That's our 30 second break right there. Whew. Feeling it, headset's popping off, sweating. All right, cross stance jump, four touch. So you're down in stance, you're gonna jump, heels together, touch with the left hand, jump, touch with the right hand. One minute, let's get going. Start over here on the right side. Three, jump left, touch with the left hand. Three, two, one, so like a shuffle. Kicking those heels together in the middle. I want you to touch that floor with the palm every time. Okay, keep that back nice and flat. By touching that floor with your palm and keeping the back flat, that's gonna ensure that we have good range of motion here and you're getting all the way down. If for some reason you can't do that, go as low as you can, okay? Give me fingertips at least. Try to make contact with the ground. Come on, just like that. Come on. Are those legs burning yet? Quads burning, glutes burning, heart rate's up. Way to go. Come on, you can do it. You only got five seconds left. You can finish it out. Three, two, one. Awesome work, awesome work. Okay. Now we've got the three in and out plank to a straight jump up. So down in plank, we go in and out, one, two, three. On that fourth jump, I want you to go sky high on the jump, okay? Then our next jump, just straight jump up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, let's go back in the plank, jump it, one, two, Three, jump it up, straight up. Back in the plank, one, two. If you have to step in the plank and you can't jump, that's fine, okay? As long as you're doing your in and out, as long as you're jumping, as long as you're giving it your all. Sweat pouring off me already. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up for a minute so I can focus here. I want you to focus too. Give it your all. Whew. That's it. Jump as high as you can. Give me good height on that jump. Whew. 
All right. Three, two, time. 30 seconds, weighted, alternating step out squat. So we're gonna have our weight here, goblet position, squat, step out with the left, squat, back to the center, step out with the right, and squat. I'm gonna grab my 25. Here we go. So we're gonna be making a triangle with that squat position. Three, two, one, here we go. Straight squat, left, to, left foot goes back, squat it out, come up, center, right foot goes back, just like that. So, like in any sport, you don't just have to perform athletically, you have to think athletically. So while this move is basically accomplishing the same exact thing, even though we're moving our feet, we're still doing the same exercise, but you have to think about it, okay? So you're training preseason, high school sports, college, pro, whatever it might be, even if you're a weekend warrior, you can up your mental game along with your physical game. That's gonna put you on top. That's gonna make you a champion, okay? So here, we're thinking about what we have to do with every single step. Three, two, break. Whew. Next thing we have. This is our last move in this first round. This is gonna be eight ski jumps. In the ski jump, I want you to keep your feet, knees together, jumping across, like this. Eight like that, then we're gonna do eight kettle swings. So, shooting it through with the hips. We're gonna alternate hands on the kettle swings. So, first time you do it, right hand, second time, left hand. Here we go, three, two, one. Give me some good distance on those ski jumps. That's it. Nice. Walk it up, right hand grabs, shoot it up with the hips, let's go. That's it. If you have a kettlebell at home and you wanna use it, by all means, go ahead. As we all know, through this equipment, back to the jump, it's a bit scarce right now to find, so use whatever you have. If you don't have dumbbells and you wanna do this workout, grab some water jugs, okay? That's it. That's it, now we're going left hand, swing it, let's go. One, two, three, four, that's it. five. Feel it on the glutes, six, seven, eight. Back to those jumps. Halfway through the move, let's go. Big jumps, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight right hand grabs. Pick it up with the hips. The arm is only the pendulum, okay? It's just holding the weight and you're using your hips, your body weight to throw it up. Okay. That was eight, maybe nine. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. One. So, 25 pounds might not seem like a lot until all of a sudden you realize I'm doing 20, 30 reps like that. Okay, at the end of the work. Whew. All right, finish out with a couple of jumps. Here we go. Three, two, time. Wow, that was our first round. Great work. If you feel like you have to stop now, by all means, go ahead. If you're feeling strong and you want to continue, which I suggest you do. Let's go on and do that whole thing all over again, okay? Got 45 seconds, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna get some water. I'm feeling it. Whew, grab some water if you have it. Let's put our uh, second dumbbell in a place here. We're going right back to the top. We're gonna hit that push up, row, curl, press tricep extension sequence, okay? So I got my stands. Again, you don't need them, but if you wanna use them, cool if you got them. That's awesome. All right, I'm going back down 
in a plank position. I'm getting ready here. We're gonna go in five seconds. Get in your mind. Let's go strong. Come on, everybody. Three, two, one. Four push-ups. Come on. One, two, three, four. Jump it up. Four rows. Two, three, four. Stand up straight, curl elbows in the side. That's it. Three, four. Press it up. One, two, three, four. Triceps. Extension. Two, three. Feel that stretch. Four. Put them back down. Hop right back into those push-ups again. Here we go. Come on. Focus. You can do it. Pop it up. Throw it out. One, two, three, four. Come on. Step it up. Curl. Two, three, four. Inward press. Two, three, four. And the tricep extension. Halfway to the move. Come on. I know it's burning. Pick the right weight. If you feel like it's too easy, get a heavier set of weights, all right? You should be burning. At the end of those four reps for each body part. That's four. Okay. Up. Row it. One, two, three, four. Curl. Come on. One, two, three, four. Inward press. One, two, three, four. Triceps. Upper body is burning. No question about that. You got 20 seconds left. Let's see what we can finish out in this last round here. Come on. One, two, three, four. Pop it up. Let's row. One, two, three, four. Time for a few curls. One, two, and we're done. Okay? Great work. It's the last time you're gonna have to do that sequence for today. I'm sure you're happy about that. Keep that one in mind. You can always come back and do this workout again if it's hard. Get better each time. Going right back into that side jump, single arm plank, all right? Jumping left, left hand goes down, back in a plank, same thing on the right side with the right arm. Let's go. Three, two, one. Jump across, single arm back. Boom, right, right arm down. Come on up, just like that. Plyometrics, one arm balance moves, all incorporated into the same thing here. That's gonna get you fit. That's gonna get the heart rate up. It's gonna burn fat, blast calories, get you ripped and sculpted all at the same time. Okay? Come on. Boom. Up, cross. Boom. Try to get a nice flat back on that when you shoot back. Okay? Make sure that hand is planted safely. Then I want you to shoot back. That's it. Come on. 10 seconds. You can do it. Focus. Energy. Don't stop now. Come on. Three, two, time. Woo. That's hurt. That hurts. I know. Look at me. I'm dripping here. Dripping. 20 seconds left in our break. Got that power jump into that warrior three balance. Okay, I gotta catch my breath here. Woo. Let's go. Gonna touch the floor on the power jumps. Go out, nice flat back, and that warrior three every time. Three, two, start on touching the floor, jump it up. Left leg, here we go. Really feel the stretch in that hamstring, okay? Try to go to the point where it's a little uncomfortable, you feel it. All right, if you're up here, not doing much. I want you out like that. Okay? Shoot it straight back. I know it's hard, but work on it and you'll see how you get better over time. Try to keep everything as straight as possible. I have a hard time straightening my arms out, but I'm doing my best here to get that done. Come on. Just dripping. So from sweat right now. The hazard zone here. I might need to wipe up my sweat. I don't slip on it while I'm jumping. All right, 
I'm sure you got the same thing at home. Come on. Come on. Five, four, one more. Three, two, one. You did it. Way to go. Way to go. Whew. About 20 seconds left in our break. Plank, jumping up, X jump. So we're going back into plank, jumping up, X jump, back again. You remember this move. It's coming back for you right now in our repeat round. Come on, get your energy collected. Let's give it all you got here. Three, two, one. Back in a plank, jump up, and boom. Shoot it back. Come on up, X jump. Now, again, if you have to step, that's okay. If you have to modify the X jump and you can't do it, just give me this, okay? That's all you gotta do. Oh, do complete modification. Step back, step up, give me the rainbow, all right? Otherwise you're here and you're jumping. Everybody knows that this channel provides accelerated workouts, okay? For people who really wanna get fit. So if you're new, welcome and join, join us and watch how fast you can get fit just by giving it your all, even if you don't complete the whole workout, it's okay. Come on. Ah, five, four, three, two, nine. Ooh. Wow. Hurting. Just dripping, just dripping sweat here. Okay, going back to that shuffle stance. We're gonna meet the heel in the middle, touch on the ground, side to side. Keep that back nice and flat. Try to get that palm on the floor. All right, let's go. We're going here in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Down, touch that floor. Cross, touch that floor. All right? Even if you have to take a little bit of a pause touching that floor, that makes sure you got that back nice and flat and you're getting that palm all the way to the ground. All right? That's it. This workout is hitting everything. We're hitting strength. We're hitting endurance. We're hitting flexibility. We're hitting cardiovascular stamina. We're stretching. Okay? We're getting everything done here in 40 minutes. Actually, just a little bit less. About 38 minutes today. Okay. So, just keep going and know that sticking with us here on this channel, you're gonna get amazing results. And then when you're ready, you visit, visit ripdism.com, okay? Three, two, one. And you're gonna see how our 60 day programs with our diet and nutrition guide will get you in incredible shape, make you better for any sport you play, make you better for your kids, so you can be fit with them. Anything you wanna do in life, prevent from getting injured, etc. check it out. All right, now, back down in plank, we got that three hop in and out, jump up. So back down in plank, just about caught my breath, three, two, one, here we go, one, two, three, Jump it all the way up, jump sky high. Back, one, two. Again, you can step back into the plank if you have to. One, two, three, up, sky high. That's it. One, two, three, all the way up, jump it straight up. You got it, come on. I know this move, that easy. I know that, I probably said it the last time we did it, but, it's the truth. So there's a reason it's getting you fit. You're killing your core and your abs in this move and you don't even realize it. Okay. Until so you stop and you realize how sore they are. Come on. Two, three, pop it up. Come on, give me 10 more seconds. Two, three, up. Three, two, back in the plank. One, there's our time. I'm going hands to knees. We're just knees. And bend it over, huh? Woo! We feeling it yet or what? Let's grab that dumbbell. We're gonna do that weighted alternating step out lunge, okay? We're holding it up here. 
by our chin, goblet squat position. Let's go. Toes out, three, two, one. Squat, left foot steps back, squat. Come on up, just like that. Right foot steps back, good. See, we're thinking, we're using our minds, and we're using our muscles, and we're using everything here to get fit fast. Complex moves like this are gonna get you in shape quickly and are gonna prepare you for all kinds of athletics. Like I said in the past, I don't care if you play golf, hockey, track, basketball, football, baseball, volleyball, I don't care what you play. This stuff will get you better for that and it's gonna make you look good in the meantime too, right? A little side bonus there. Get you healthy and get you fit and looking good too. All right, keep going. Five, four, three, two, time. Woo! Also feel it in the biceps, holding that weight up. It's not just in the legs the whole time there. All right, we've reached the last move in our regular workout before we do our core bonus. This is our two minutes of ski jumps. And then we got eight jumps and eight kettle swing alternating each hand each time. Let's get it going here, come on. Three, two, one, everything together, knees and feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, step it up. Let's go. Like I said before, this is just, the arm is just a pendulum for the weight. Okay, four. Push with the hips. Squeeze the glutes on top. Squeeze the quad. That's it. Back to our jump. Come on. Eight. One, two, three. Big moguls. Come on. That's it. You want to ski? Here's a move. That's going to get you ready. Left arm. Come on. Just up to your chin, roughly, with the weight. Just kick it up as high as your hips allow. That's it. Back to the jumps, we're halfway through, come on. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right hand grabs, kick it up. That's it. Huh. 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 Boom. Come on. More jumps to do. Come on. One, two, big jumps. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Eight. Okay, 20 seconds left. Let's go. We got it. You can do it. Don't stop now. No quitting. Here's six, here's seven, here's eight. Put it down safely. Finish out with a few jumps, whatever we got left. One, two, three, time. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the regular workout. All right, we've been working out for 31 minutes roughly here. Now, we're gonna do our core bonus. Put the weights away, Put you down on the ground. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be holding in a V position like this, counting for four. Then we're gonna go side to side with our feet bent, legs bent, four reps. Go. So you're holding here one, two, three, four, then one. Feet off the ground, three, four. Kick it back up. One, two. Again, this is a one minute move. Four, one, two, three. Four, kick it into V, one. Nice balance. Three, four, oblique. One, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four, and you're halfway through the move. Come on, keep going. You gotta take a rest. That's fine, I don't mind. Into the twist, just keep going. Come back in stronger. All right, focus on that balance. All right, I know this is a tough move to start out with, but you're gonna thank me that it came now and not at the end. 
two, three, four, finish it out. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, time. 30 second break, okay? We're gonna stay on the mat. We're gonna do four touch skies and four bicycles. I want you down here on the mat, like so. You're gonna be reaching up to touch the sky four times and then bicycle four times. Let's go. You can do it. Focus. Let's work. Rip up that core. Come on. Let's go. Legs up. Three, two, one. Reach for those toes, okay? Two, three, four. Now bicycle slow. One, two. We're not going fast here. Three, four. Up. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Really burning out the abs at the end here. Okay, you use your core in just about every single move during that workout. You know, it's not a direct ab move, but you really have to engage your core on every single move so that you stay in control, stay focused, stay balanced. And then when you burn it out here at the end with these ab focus moves, you realize just how much you engage your core the entire workout and how this little bonus move at the end really polishes everything out for you, okay? And 10 more seconds, two, pulse it up, four, and one, two, three, four, and that's time. All right, we got one move left. One move left. We got low plank drop twist. So we're gonna be down in low plank position here. And all we're gonna do for one minute is just drop to one side, drop to the other side. You got this, come on. Whew. 10 seconds rest left. Gather up that energy. I know you're gonna need it here. Let's get down, come on. Let's get in that low plank position. And we're gonna go in three, two, one. So, hold down to the right, drop down to the left, drop down to the right. Again, it's not speedy. You wanna feel the engagement and the obliques every single time you twist. All right? Oh. Mm. Just like that. You're working the whole entire core here. Lower core too is engaged. Make sure that your back is nice and flat. You're not dipping down. Your butt's not too high in the air. All right? Keep pushing here. Quick time check. Halfway through the move. Come on, you can do this. Stay in that low plank. Focus the energy in those shoulders. Keep yourself elevated. And then drop the hip back and forth every single time. Full engagement. Think about the muscles you're using. You're gonna see the results. Come on, stick with it. Come on, let's go. We're down to single digits here. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. That's it. You reached the end. Let's pop up. Congratulations. Great work on completing that workout. If you ever had to take a, if you had to take a break, hit pause and come back in. It doesn't matter. I'm still proud of you for coming back in. If you can only do half of it, it doesn't matter. Come back and finish it the rest the next time you do this, all right? So let's pull down here quickly. Little bounce, little bounce, little bounce. Shake the hands out. Whew. I'm drenched in sweat. I mean, this shirt is black, but it's definitely fully, I can wring it out when I'm done here, you know? It's fully encapsulated with water. All right, nice work. Let's twist it back and forth. That's it. Get that core stretched out. We just went after it, like I said, with every single move. All right, nice. Let's go down. Ah, that's it. How, how are those legs feeling after all those squats today, right? And all those plyometric moves. Definitely engage the lower body a lot today. Upper body, we hit hardcore, those two sequences. All right, let's go back and uh, any of the plank moves that we were doing too. Down into cobra position. Ah, really focus on stretching out that core. Good. Nice. Hop it back up in a plank, downward dog. Stretch that out, pedal the feet to stretch out the calves. Nice work. Finishing up the way we started here, right foot up. Good. Left hand on the ground, right arm shoots straight up here. Nice. Come back down. Same thing, other foot comes up. Right hand on the ground, left hand stretch it up. Good, down, other foot comes up, roll it up nice and slow. 
Okay. Good, circle the arms forward. Circle them back. All right. Give me some up and down here, up and down. That's it. That's it. Way to go, a little huggers. Stretch out the chest, arms up. Stretch it wide. One more time, arms up. Pull it wide. Great. Okay, so thanks so much. You guys did amazing, like I said. And uh, if you really like what you see here, give us a thumbs up, give us some comments in the comment section, let us know if you liked it or not. Give us a comment, let, let us know what you wanna see in uh, upcoming videos. We'll try to uh, accommodate what we can for people. And uh, like I said, in the middle, beginning in the middle, Riptism.com when you're ready, support us there. We bring free videos to you guys here, but if you wanna support us and you wanna get the best workouts of your life and get in the best shape of your life, hit Riptism.com, okay? And if you're not a subscriber and you like our channel, please go ahead and do that now. And uh, we're gonna see you guys very soon. Everybody stay safe. Stay positive, stay happy, and have a good one. Thanks so much again.